Hello my friends, welcome back to the Mobius mod. We are heading over to the planet Zill, and I think that they are going to kill me. <laughs> because this is the first mission where we're going to be fighting proper Taldorim forces, I believe. That is, at least that's how it is in Nightmare, which means vanguards, wrathwalkers, and descendants are all going to turn me into goo. And I'm a little bit horrified about that prospect. Ooh, Swan. Hey, bud. Well, Swan's going to make the early game here real nice. Yeah, we can just drop this turret down, and Flame and Betty is going to make life very easy. Put the repair drone on it. That repair drone's going to be real nice for our tanks, actually, now that I think of it, too. Swan is going to be great here. I also think that Jim Rayner is going to be insane, because he has that area or line damage attack that... What does it do? It does a ton of damage versus armored, right? So that should be real strong against all the taller and Protoss. What do we got here? Shape Blast. Shot Cannon damage to friendly units reduced by 75%. Shot Cannon briefly stuns enemy units half the time. So there's a 50% chance to stun the enemies and the normal reduced friendly fire. Now let's see, is there anything here? No, there's not. 25 and 35 versus armored and then 45 and 80 versus armored. Okay. So these hit hard. Whoa. Three base armor. That's actually pretty good. That's going to make them significantly better against stuff like the Vanguard. Interesting. I mean, the Vanguard is still going to kill them in like two hits, so I'm not sure it'll change much, but the extra based armor seems really good. Oh, stun it, stun it, stun it. We need to make sure that this Archon does not get to do anything. I don't know if it's actually a Dark Archon, and I don't want to learn. It had an energy bar. <laughs> And that could have been terrible. If he stole my friends, I would have been very sad. Alright, let's head up here and get the stuff going. One thing that I would like to try doing is eliminating the Protoss base, because I think that's always fun on this mission. We've received a message from Mobius Expedition. Alright, what do you got for me, Mobius? All dead. They killed them all. They killed her. The temple sent a signal into space, and they came. No warning. Burnt everything. They must suffer. Destroy their motherships. Strand them here. I'll pay you. Give me revenge. Pierre Wayland, Mobius Expedition Leader. Alright. So there's motherships that we need to kill. Oh, oh, uh, mm, they're building a base here. Yes, uh, <laughs> forgot about that. Let's set these tanks up, move over here, see if we can take down the Vanguard. Oh! Okay, let's set up a defensive thing over here, but then we need to not lose to these forces as well. Okay, there's a lot to do right now. So, enemy motherships inside of their base that need to be taken out. And I'm guessing, what does it say? Let's see. Anti-laser shielding activated on all motherships. Yeah, okay, there's one. So what they want you to do is get vision of it and then use the laser without scan. But I figure if you're supposed to do that, then why not just destroy them normally with conventional arms anyway? You know, it's cooler that way. Oh, uh, not gonna let you do that, bud. Now, another thing we should do is start clearing out these areas so that right as we get control of the laser drill, we can lose our siege tanks. Perfect. Right as we get control of the laser drill, we can grab those bonus objectives to make our tanks even better. I always love being able to strategize around getting the upgrades in a timely manner. I think that's really cool. So we're going to do that here. I don't know if there's more forces over there, so I'm going to be a bit wary, and we're going to get the expansion. I'm not getting upgrades yet because I'm a little bit afraid of what could happen. And I just want everything to be nice and safe. Getting a lot of tanks. How much are these? 250, 175. Very expensive. Hey. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> He's just building the pylon. What a guy. All right. So we're going to set up a tank line. And that'll mean that we can both pull these guys and take down the tank in one action. That is so funny. Let's just set this down and then do a little pull. 
And I think that the composition to destroy the enemies with is going to be Marine Tank. Or Legionnaire Medic Tank, I guess is what I should say. Just like the stock standard Terran thing that is great against really everything. It's always a fantastic composition, lots of fun to play. I think it's going to be good here. I believe the enemies attack from the top next because it's a very simple pattern of bottom, top, bottom, top. My expert game knowledge of base pattern recognition once again coming to save me. Oh, that's cool. So, is there one over here? No, there's not. One sec, let me defend this and then I want to talk about a piece of game design that I just noticed that I would like to appreciate the modder on. So, what did they do? How much is... Oh, I can't get it because I have no gas. Uh, gas geyser... Gas geyser. This is the regenerative gas geyser, and it's at the expansion. Usually on this mission, the way that it works is the expansion is a little bit useless near the later stages because you mine it out about halfway through the mission. However, when you make the regenerative gas the one over there, then you are incentivized to keep it for the entire time, even when everything else is gone. A very small, easy change that I like quite a bit. Obviously, it doesn't work in the base campaigns or other stuff because they don't have those regenerative geysers. But I still am a big fan of that change. Really neat. Now, we're actually getting such a big tank force that we're going to be able to switch into infantry very quickly. Oh, we got an email. Okay. Hey, Jimmy. I've checked the energy reserves of the drill, and there is more than enough for its mission. As long as more than half of the charges remain, I should be able to sell the battery at full price. After, the, after that, there will be diminishing returns. However, if you want to use it for something else, like, let's say, frying the tall rim, that will reduce our margins, so try to use it sparingly. Okay, 40 charges remaining, so we can blast 20 guys with the laser drill, and it's fine, and then we lose money after that. Cool. I like that. Probably should have blasted these vanguards to begin with. Whoa, Swan, where are you? Oh no, okay, um, I kind of thought that the tanks were bulkier than that. They got shredded pretty hard. Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay, we can move this way. Blast these guys. Oh gosh, there's a lot of stuff. So we want the vanguard to die. We gotta be very careful with how we're killing these guys. Set the siege up. Oh, careful. And then infrastructure time. Okay, I do have the upgrade that allows me to build the medics off of the tech lab, which is, or off of the reactor, which is good. Got to find our Jim. He's on the floor somewhere. Got splatted. As you do, Jim. We've all been there. This better be good. After a hard night of Marine Micro and you end up splayed on the floor. It's a tiring job. Let's get a couple missile turrets so that the air stuff doesn't do too much damage. And then I would like to get a sensor tower as well so that I shoot faster. Big job, huh? Cool, cool. I think things are going pretty okay. Uh, obviously, I'm not a fan of the losses that I had in that last fight, but I don't think that they were... Hu oh, gosh, that's the air stuff. Okay, so we want to siege these up. A lot of incoming damage. We do have the fire suppression system, so these are going to heal up. Gonna be okay. Hey, the turret here doing a great job. Bunch of guys coming in for... What if... Do they go after the workers? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I see those DTs. <laughs> nope. Nope. Get over there and take them down. Make sure that we have detection. Alright, we dealt with everything pretty nicely. And the tank count is getting nice and high as well. That's really the important thing, is retaining the tanks at this point. So what I want to do is sir, or, uh, keep as many of these charges as I can. 
And in the long term, what that'll do is mean that I can blast the first of the bases while using the laser drill to cover everything. That seems like a good idea. We're going to make this into a planetary, though. Oh, we can. Planetary, just to help the defense. Uh, maybe a couple of these guys will go here, because I feel like they're hitting me very quickly. Use Jim. Oh, they're all going to the south now. I think that's okay, as long as we can get these guys sieged up, and we can get that first Protoss relic. Head on over to the second one. Oh, no, no, no. How'd they get... Oh, they got vision. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, we're going to lose everything here. This is horrible because of that one observer that I can't target down. Well, that's bad. I'm going to get a second factory in order to help with this. I did not think of the observer... All those vanguards are horrifying. So does it take a charge in order to blast that open? I'm not sure. I think so. We can get plus two attack on these as well. I wonder how much attack we get. Oh, wow. 10 damage per attack upgrade? <laughs> All right, that seems reasonable. That's insane. And the, oh, I forgot the sensor tower. Of course, I wanted that. And then I think that if there's a time to go, it's going to be after the first scary... Or the after the second scary airwave. I guess the word that I was looking for is the next airwave. Siege tanks transform faster. That's huge. That's incredible for me. That'll help me actually get into position quickly. And when I get in a bad position like I did earlier, I'll be able to escape from it. There's no vanguards there, so I'm not super scared of this wave. The Archons do hit kind of hard, but they're not too bad. And then vanguards over here, we're going to take this and that down. Let's go. Oh yeah, we can get some guys over here. Let's get a Stepman. Stepman's always good. Take down the Observer so they don't have vision. Actually, this might be a good time to go. I feel like we just took such a good fight. Hmm. Oh, and they're coming, like, right over here? Okay, we're going to set up. We're going to target these two down. And we're going to try to make something beautiful happen. So we need to get high ground vision with a scan. First, we set up. Then we scan, keep the seed shank production going. Those are Wrathwalkers, though. Oh, those vanguards are hitting hard. Come on, tanks, fire! We can move just a little bit farther forward. Luckily, the... Oh, no, they got the Mothership Cloak. Of course. Pull back, pull back. Take this guy down. We got Stepman. Oh, 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 okay. So to scan off of the thing, you need to tab. If you have two different scans, one from the... Oh, gosh. Oh, here comes the air units. I think we leave a couple forces over here just as a clearing force. Pull everything else back to make sure that we end up safe and don't lose stuff. Okay... Yeah, we're going to clear this base. Oh, gosh, that's some other ship. Hello. Let's pull back. We still have a bunch of charges left to help defend. That's some void rays from the side. I'm okay with it. Throw those depots. All right, everything is good to go. Let's finish off this mothership and... Raise, raise, raise. You guys are going to stay at home to defend. I need a couple more depots. All right, go. Right, medics, you gotta help. 
Thankfully, the Ascendant shots are not as good as they could be. There are High Templar models, but they're Ascendant damage. Interesting. Okay, we need to siege this up and then take down this mothership. Oh, goodness, that was a lot of damage still. But they didn't all instantly die, which is an upgrade from normal. Looks like one of the motherships has fallen. There's two more. I gotta be careful to not win this mission. That's actually my big fear right now, is that we're gonna kill the core faster than we can finish everything else off. Okay, those don't matter, they're just Archons. All that's getting cleared. Pick up our friend. Take all that down. Ooh, careful, Mr. Tank. Actually, you can soak these shots, no problem, because you're a siege tank. Alright, then we pull everything back, and let's go get the next bonus objective while we're here. We have charges left. We're going to use it on that Colossus. So this has bonus range, right? No, but it's inside of the radius. Weird. I don't know how that works, and right now it does not really matter. Oh, gosh. Hello. Fan, fan. Take down the Wrathwalkers. There we go. I like that uh, the Wrathwalker's micro back. That was the thing that Nightmare added. It's they're like little twinkle toes just going back and forth, and it's real obnoxious to deal with in a cool way. Makes the enemies feel super smart. Big amount of stuff coming this way. All right. Oh no! This was the wrong time to unsiege. We only have 25% remaining to win. What's up? And we can use the drill to finish this one off. Hopefully we get something nice and good. I'm going to leave these tanks here as a insurance mechanism as I continue the push. I'm feeling real good here. Reduce friendly fire damage. I thought we had that before. I don't know. Doesn't matter that much. It's good to have either way. So this is going to be a very painful put. Oh! I thought they had Ascendant Orbs. I'm very confused. Now they have Psy Storms. We can repair over here. Try to uh, finish this stuff off. Pull forward. Oh gosh, this has all somewhat fallen apart very quickly. Mothership down. Siege up. We can get this force to go help the side. Keep clearing, keep clearing. Gotta take down the production. Unfortunately, they're draining my cash very quick. All right, cool. We're good to go. I don't think we need that base anymore, but I wanted to keep it as live as long as I could. Alright, this is the time for the Draken laser drill. You guys need to come help. Let's see. Don't go under the charge limit. Remember, Draken Laser Drills, credit cards, same rules. Yeah, it's a good, good idea. Oh, hey, 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 that's not cool of you. 28 charges. It's going to bring me down to 26. Just keep fighting over here. We're going to take some shots, and that's just how it is. Because we got to clear. We still have not lost money. Uh, there's a big attack coming on over here. Let's grab this, this, all these. And to defend, we go Herc mode. Go, go. 
Keep the pressure on. There's the final mothership. Control the area. You guys hold the drill. Okay, there's some scary stuff over there, but as long as the mothership goes down, it won't be too bad. Okay, we got it. We're gonna win. We only have 10% remaining, though, to kill all their buildings. I hope they haven't rebuilt over here or something. They've not. Good. Maybe I should have taken this space first so I could have <laughs> grabbed the money there. Ooh, that was fun. I always love clearing these bases. It's, uh, it's a rush. Fun. Really good. Give me all that cash. So we got 60,000 here from these two bonus objectives. All the relics. That was great. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, let's go check out what exactly we have now. It's a lot. I don't know how much money we got from the mission total, but we had basically zero dollars, so we'll be able to see. And we have Protoss stuff as well that we can play with if we want. So we got the Siege Breaker Mercenaries. How exciting. Hmm. This is such a good upgrade. We got $180,000, I believe, from that mission. Absolute madness. Yeah, we're going to get the Shape Blast upgrade. That's going to make things easier. And then let's check out how close we are to Protoss research. We got three right there. That's going to be up to 13. We have 17 here. Still haven't gotten to play with the Hercules, but in good time. I think that the Mobius factor is going to be a great time to play with this. And... Yeah, that'll be, that'll be great. I think we're in a wonderful position. We can either go to the Protoss missions or we can go to Tyriador, which is the Mobius factor. We can go to Media Blitz for the Thor, or we can go to Safe Haven for the, shut up, Doctor. Safe Haven for the Viking. Whichever one you guys are most interested, please tell me in the comments. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.